Hi everybody, it's Marjorie Baldo at Arts Garage with Marjorie's Minutes. Um, I'm not going to take long today, but I would like to introduce you uh, live and in person as they say, and awake at the moment, uh, my new puppy Taz. He is Skunk's best friend. He is with me at work every day. I hope I'll have them both with me at work. Um, it might reduce my meetings if people know I have both dogs here. But right now, Taz is kind of an attraction for everyone. He's very sweet. He's a Cavapoo, and a, we are all in love in my family. So he's here today to help me talk about the annual campaign. Um, I want to say thank you to the 27 donors who've already given to our annual campaign. Uh, it's impressive to me when I look at the names because I see multiple volunteers, several staff members, my board of directors, of course, and the one name that sticks out to me in particular is Nicole Henry, who is a performer on our stage, and it's a blessing every time she's here because she's so amazingly talented. She's a huge supporter of Arts Garage. I hope you watch the video that the marketing team put together of interviews from multiple people about why they believe Arts Garage is so important and asking for you to make small donations to the campaign. Um, Nicole did a beautiful piece um, as a favor to us. So did Tito Puente Jr. And then Nicole on top of that made a donation as well as blessing our stage with her talent and beauty and bad acidness in general. So uh, just take a second and watch and see if you're moved. I think I said in the last video when I talked about this briefly, the three categories we'll dedicate these revenues to are volunteer parties for these amazing men and women who usher and set up and clean up and do over 10,000 hours a year. And we have some fun parties for them. Um, we're building our library of professional video to use to market the garage to keep it more sustainable and we are spending it on grant writing services. I just hired a new grant writer and I'm hopeful that that will also bring in more revenue streams. Um, everything we do here to ask for money is to hold ourselves accountable to the expectation in the world that we are as sustainable as possible, that we are as self-reliant as possible. Uh, and it's, it's a, an effort we take very seriously. So you always support us and we're so grateful and you do it in so many different ways. Um, buying tickets is support enough, honestly. If you're unable to make a donation, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. If you can make a donation of $5, I'd love it. I keep saying we have 19,000 people on our e-blast. If every one of them donated $1, it would meet our goal. So I hope you'll consider it. I know many of you support many different causes and we understand 100% if you can't make a donation, but we'd love it if you did. Taz would love it. He would go home and tell Skunk all about it. So thank you so much. Even if you don't make a donation and if you do, I want a big hug either way. So before the dog eats my mic, I'm gonna say goodbye, happy holidays, and I hope to see you soon.